Hello, sweetheart. Well, Daddy, you look good this morning. <laughs> you agree. <laughs> There's a whole new world out there. Listen, that's good. I I'm going over to Kelly's to see if she's okay and if she needs anything. I'm sure she'd love to see you. Why don't you come with me? Well, actually, I was on my way over there. You were? Mm-hmm. With your mother. Why don't you join us? And we'll all go together. Sure, the more the merrier. Well, that's wonderful. Um, does this mean that you... No, it no, does not. No, it no, does not. Not no. at all. Eden, I'm sorry. Look, uh, this is great. We can all go together. Well, shall Good. we? Good, yep. Okay, well, wait a second. I have to call Cruz. I left before he got up. So how about if I meet you at the car? Oh, fine. Okay. I'll be right there. I'm surprised to see you here. Well, I just thought I'd uh, stop in and check on Chip. Oh, he's doing great. Yeah, the nurse just told me that he's going to be released today. That's right. As soon as the paperwork is done, we're out of here. That's great. Uh, Scott said he would be tired for a bit, but he'll be fine. It's fine. I'm glad to hear it. Um, could I give you a ride home? Oh, no. No, it's not necessary. Oh, I know, but I, uh, it's on my way, and I, I wouldn't mind. I'd, I'd be happy to, actually. Okay, oh, he was so good. He didn't cry once when oh, he was in the doctor. <laughs> but Look at him. How are you doing, little mm. girl? You're a lucky man. You have a beautiful son. Mm. Oh. Come here. Hi. Hi, Kelly. Hi, for a while. It's going to take him a bit of time to get back to his old self. Well, what is his old self like? What is this, uh, what's the look I really like to do, anyway? Oh, let's see. Uh, well, he loved, um, Sesame Street. He loves Bert and Ernie, especially. Bert and Ernie? Yeah. And, uh, he loves bananas. Absolutely hates carrots. Well, I can't blame you on that, buddy. I hated carrots, too. He likes this thing, though, obviously. Yeah, and he hates it, you know, when he has to go to bed at night and we have to turn all the lights off in his room. Well, maybe we could, uh, we could get him a little, uh, radio or something. Yeah, yeah, that's an idea. Mm -hmm. And over here, this is his favorite toy. This is Dimples. Look at you, <laughs> yeah, This is Dimples. <laughs> well, yeah, I can see why he likes Dimples. Dimples is pretty cute. Hey, bud. Yeah, this is a lucky guy. Cruz, what are you doing here? Seriously, I'm, uh... I just wanted to come by and see how he was doing. I, mean, I, I haven't... I feel like I missed out on this whole first year, you know? You didn't. You delivered him, remember? Yeah, I do remember, Tori. I, uh, think about it all the time, actually. I have to go down and get the mail. Why don't you play with him until I get back? Yes? Hello. I'm Joan Stiller from the clinic. Angie Dalton asked me to stop by. I see, I see. You've missed your last three sessions, and she was getting worried. Uh-huh. You're supposed to call if you can't keep an appointment. Um, I apologize. Um, it's been hectic. My son's been in the hospital. Oh, God. Is he all right? Yes, he's fine now. I see you have company. I... Uh, Cruz Castillo, uh, this, is, this is Joan Stiller. How do you do? Hello. Victoria, if you want to continue with your therapy, you're going to have to call. I mean, you know that stressful situations are... Yes, I understand. If you'll excuse me now, I had to put my son down for a nap. We just got back. I'm sorry. Certainly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We had a checkup with my doctor, and he said everything was fine, and there shouldn't be any other reason for this to happen, and we can try again soon. But I have Jeffrey here, so I'm okay. But thank you for your concern. Well, I hope you know the crews and I are here if you need anything. Thanks, Eden. Honey, 
You and Jeffrey are going to have lots of kids. I know, Daddy. But we'll never forget this one. This one will always be very special to us. Excuse me for a minute. Sure, honey, you go ahead. Can I give you a hand? No, no, it's okay, Daddy. I'll be right back. You two can go ahead. I'm going to stay here for a while to see how she is. I uh, thanks, Sophia. I... You know, it's, uh... She's not letting go of this baby. It's like the thing is still real. It's not an easy thing to watch. Well, you know, that's going to happen for a little while, Jeffrey. When Cruz and I lost the baby, it was the same way. But it'll be okay. You just have to be patient. Thanks. Thank you. Come, Reed, and I'll uh, drive you back to the beach, huh? Okay. Jeffrey, will you remember, please? It was just a phone call away. Yeah. Thanks, Cecil. See you. I'll, um, uh, I'll take care of these. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Sophia, I want you, uh, to tell me about T.J. Has he said anything to you about what happened in Wyoming? No, he hasn't, but I haven't seen much of him lately. Why? Because I hold him responsible for this. And if he hadn't have dragged Kelly out into that storm all over the place, none of this would have happened. I know you're very upset, Jeffrey, but I'm sure TJ did his very best to take care of her. Yeah. Well, you see, I think he's a hustler. And I better not ever see him anywhere near my wife again. You know, I really, uh, should put him down for a little nap. I think I need some sleep myself. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I'm sorry about Joan. I've been kind of uptight, you know? Yeah, you seem a little edgy. Listen, I hope you won't um, think it's too far out of line of me, but uh, I'm curious. That problem with cocaine you were having, how's that going? I'm in a rehabilitation program, and I'm doing very well. I have no intention of going back to drugs again. And I will not endanger my child's life. Yeah, well, I'm sure you won't. I just thought I should ask. I think it's time for you to go. Yeah, okay. Bye, little buddy. Bye, Mom. Give daddy a kiss. I'll see you. Listen, I said I'd like to see him again sometime. Think we can make some kind of plan to do that? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, Chris, I know how you feel. But I'm not so sure it's a good idea for you to start any kind of, um, real relationship with the baby. I'll be in touch. Did you call the hospital, darling? He may have gone to see Chip. Yeah, I guess he could have. What's the matter? Okay, you're gonna think this is totally illogical, but I'm scared. Honey, what are you afraid of? What? All of this, all of this stuff with Chip. Parker, you listen to me. Cruz happens to love you very much. You don't have to worry about that. He has enough love for both of you. You should mind your own business, Cruz. You should mind your own business.
Yeah, for Santa Barbara, the number of an Angie or Angela Dalton. Hi. Hi. Let me grab those. Where have you been? Uh, I uh, had to go into the office. I was up all night thinking about the Mark McCormick case. I thought I'd go in early, see if I could come up with something. Did you find out anything? Not yet. How's Kelly? She's fine. I just think she needs some more time. How are you? I'm okay. I called the office and you weren't there. Yeah, well, afterwards, I was, uh, I went to the hospital and, uh, I was just gonna poke my head in and take a look at Chip, but I found out he was going home today and Tori showed up, and so I ended up giving him a ride home and visiting for a little while. Why didn't you tell me right away? I wasn't trying to keep anything from you. Really? I just knew it would upset you. No, not telling me is going to upset me. Can't do this. We have to share our feelings. I know. I uh, I called actually once, and and the line was busy, and I was going to call again, but it slipped my mind. It was uh, it was nothing intentional. You wouldn't have told me if I hadn't asked, would you? Probably not. Look, we, we can't do this. You have to tell me what you're feeling, and I'll tell you what I'm feeling. It's the only way we can make it with this. I know. I'm really sorry. It won't happen again. So I'm convinced that, that somebody is trying to frame him for Mark McCormick's murder. Things are popping up all over the place that we have no knowledge of. He's sure that he's being followed. And, and he got a threatening phone call today. What did they say? That they know that he killed Mark McCormick. And what does Keith know about this? A lot more than we do. And he is starting his own investigation. And I am off the case. I'm off the case. He thinks I'm prejudiced. So once again, we're pitted against this dirt bag. Well, at least you're on the inside, so you'll know what's going on with him. Yes, we'll keep this also on to the fact that I've been investigating him for the attorney general. He is watching me like a hawk. So being subtle is going to be very tough. Mason. Oh, there you are. Hi. I got your note. It came right over. What's up? I told Cruz and Eden everything. Why did you do that? It's probably just a hoax. Why don't you let us help? Look what happened last year when it went off by yourself and didn't tell anybody where you were going. Look where that got you. Mason, please. Please let Cruz help you. What was that? Well, what? No. Cruz ran up the road, and I checked the beach. No sign. Were you sure there was anybody really there? Well, I looked all around the outside of the house, but in the sand out there, you can't see nothing but footprints. Well, what are we going to do? Did Mark have any uh, relatives living in town that you knew of? No, not that I know of. You made any new uh, enemies lately? Cruz, I'm a lawyer. It'd be easier to say if I made any friends lately. Mason, come on. I don't know. I've prosecuted people. I've defended people. Who knows? Well, how long do you think you've been followed? Maybe a week. Sounds like we better get this guy before he feeds Tim as any more ammunition. Sounds like it's time to set a trap. 